Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if new welcome to my channel. I'm so excited today and I love doing these kind of videos where I can try a brand that I never heard of before or never tried anything from them before and today I have a box full you can see it's full with products from Nip and Fab. Nip and Fab I think it's called and I came across this brand on uh, Look Fantastic website and I've never never heard anything from this never heard of this brand before I haven't tried their products before I haven't seen anyone else talking about them so when I saw on Look Fantastic uh, their product I, I was kind of curious to see what they have how people like their products or don't like their products so I went on YouTube and watched a couple of videos and uh, I bought I was so curious I really wanted to try it myself so I bought full face full face of products of, uh, from Nip and Fab. So if you want to see me trying out these products and how they're working on my skin, then please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. So let me know guys if you like me taking this close to my face or if you don't like that, let me know. Uh, so let's see what we have in here. We have a couple of palettes, face and bl uh, blush palettes. We have more palettes. The one of the palettes, this is bronzer palette, came broke. And I contact the customer service from Look Fantastic and they have the best customer service. I show them picture, I send them picture, they contact me, I contact them, they contact me back, I, they asked me to send the picture, I did. They are amazing and I'm going to get a new palette soon, but I can't wait, I need to try. Do I have to say, I did order more of uh, things like more eyeshadow palettes and more, uh, I think, lip lip glosses or lip pens. Or there, are, there is more products that I'm waiting for, but they're going to arrive in the end of this week. And I'm going to tr use them in another video instead. I couldn't wait anymore. I also bought this palette. This is the travel palette, light medium. It's blush, pink contour, or let me open it. Uh, this palette and I actually did open it to see if it came broke because you can't see through this one and it's not broke So I'm going to leave this in my next uh, future giveaway because I have so many different Face products and palettes that I don't think I need that one. So we have setting spray. We have primer we have powder and I also bought three different foundations to see which shade will look good on me right now. I have uh, eye pens, concealer, lipsticks, eyeshadow palette and more lipsticks and eye pens and eyeliners. I also, mascara also, like I said I'm waiting for one uh, eyeshadow palette, to, one more eyeshadow palette to come and a couple of other products from Nip and Fab, but I will put them in my next giveaway. I have like full face right now here in front of me. So I'm very curious to see how they're going to work and we are going to try it right now. The only thing they didn't have or I couldn't see that they had, I also went to their website and I couldn't find their product, it, it's an eye primer. So I did use my Wet n Wild eye primer and I did set it with my Huda Beauty powder. So that's done, but nothing else. There is everything else in here. So, uh, okay, where should we start? I think I want to start with the um, eyes look. So, this is a palette that's called eyeshadow palette and it has, it's all three jeweled called. This is the palette and I, will, I love the packaging guys. I love the packaging. Oh, this one came broke. Uh, you know this that you hold when you open it so that came broke so this is uh, I I won't be able to travel with it but yeah okay so this is the shades eyeshadows look amazing I don't know if every no not all of them are matte set and finish too but this one is nice this watch okay and I'm going to create a makeup look with these palettes so I'm interested to see. I think I'm going to use the blues today. They are kind of fun. Okay, so let's start. Let's just start with the makeup look. 
I feel like I'm talking too much. So I'm going to go in with this lightest shade here. I think it's sim Simmer. I think. So you can't really see this shade on my eyes because it's is the same shade as my skin. I also have brow product. Maybe I should do that before we do our eyes. Let's see if I can do eyebrows instead. Okay, so I have two different eyebrow pencils. One is in brown and one is in ash brown. So let's open them here. When I open these packages, packages I, I always destroy my nails and I'm so happy with this new nail polish from Essence. The fall from fall collection I love this shade but doing dishes and uh, oh, removing packages he destroys it this video is probably going to be long but I'm glad that you still continue watching it and uh, support me I do need more watch time so we have brown It's a little bit dry, and this is ash. This is brown, and this is ash brown. Let's see that one. They look similar. Let's try the brown, brown one. It's like this triangle shape. I haven't used these kind of pens before in this form. I know Anastasia has, and I think the benefit also, but I haven't used it myself. It's not a bad shade, but I think I want to go to the ash one too. Oh, they have a spoolie. I didn't see that. Let's see the ash brown. Uh, this one works a little bit better. better. For me I'm not mad I, I do like this product I'm going to clean up later with some concealer well, let's do that now I also have a concealer uh, it's look like this and I bought in shade 15 it has like this brush it's like LA girl concealer the same kind of brush okay this is a little bit yellow toned Let's see if we can fix the eyebrows. I love this kind of applicator for this purpose. I think it looks good. Okay, go back to the eyeshadow palette. And I want to use this quick sand shade. This one here in my crease. Oh, uh, this is a very nice shade. I don't know if it, if the ca if camera can pick it up, but it's a little bit deeper than my skin tone, but it blends very, very nice. I think they have three eyeshadow palettes. This, the other two is in the same size, but in kind of more like nude shade. This is the most colorful. And I did purchase one of those two, and I'm waiting for it to arrive, so I'll definitely use that one. Then I think I want to go into, because I want to use the greens. So I'm going to go into this pure, 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 I think, pur, pur, pure, can't pronounce it. They're a little bit powder. Oh, I love this shade. I want to deep up my crease a little bit, so I think I'm going to take my Ofra 21. I should have brush and go into this chocolate eyeshadow. Looks more green than chocolate chocolate shade, but I know. And place it a little bit above my crease. This blends nice. I'm just not sure about this shade. And I'm going to dip up my outer corner with this eyeshadow
working good so far. So, ooh, I want to use the blue one. So try to more place this one also in here. And I'm going to go into this blue one. Sapphire, this one. I'm going to pack it. I have like a little bit of fallout right now from this, but not bad at all, just a little bit. Feel like it doesn't really want to stick here. You see here, it looks a little bit patchy. So I'm going to take the same brush and I'm actually going to take this darker blue that looks more like purple. Topaz, also on the same spot, but I'm not going to bring it too much in. Deep up. I'm going to pack it first before I blend it. So now I do really, really want to go in with the concealer. I'm liking this concealer for this purpose. The concealer dries down very fast, I like that. Then I'm going to try to apply this blue one with the brush. Oh, it's going on nice. Let's see how it's going to be applied with fingers. Oh, I like that too. It's going on nice with the brush and also with the finger. I love this palette. Ooh. I'm going to go back in this blue shade and just connect the light one here and blend them. I'm going to go back in that first shade that we had in a crease and blend a little bit more above. And I'm going to take this small, small brush and go into that choc chocolate shade, the darkest shade in, and just, just place it here at the edges to dip it up a little bit. Oh, this is going on so, so nice. I think I want to try one more thing with this palette. I'm going to take this green shade that we had in the center, I'm going to apply it on the brush, and actually I'm going to bat it just to see if I can make it more shimmery. I'm going to use uh, this Pigment Boost Fix from Makeup Obsession. Just to see if we can dip it up a little bit. Not dip it up, but make it more shimmery. I like that. Looks nice. Right now, I really like how this makeup look to, looks. I know it looks a little bit dark, but I like it. It's nice. Let me just take off some of the excess. It's time for the foundation, but before we do foundation, we're going to try the primer. This is primer, just called primer. Bare, shade one, bare. And I think this is the only primer they had, or they did have one more, but more luminous. I'm not into that because I do have oily T-zone. It's thick, but also liquidy. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, it, it feels so light. Like a face cream, maybe? I don't know. It feels light on the skin. I don't know if it did anything. But hopefully it will make my makeup last long. So, I have three different foundation shades. We have 25, 20, and 40. You get 30 milliliters, and it has a... I did swatch this one. Squeezy bottle. You don't mind the packaging. It feels cheap, but if the product is good, I don't care. I think this is supposed to be full coverage. So, we have... 20, 25, and 40. So this is more yellow tone, pinky tone, and something in between. So as you can see, this one is still light. 
you see and this one is a little bit too dark so we are going to mix these two together and we're going to apply it on my skin and everything is going to look flawless and beautiful let's zoom you in again i'm going to apply a little bit oh okay 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 who cares probably looks strange let's try it with the brush oh this is full coverage and it dries down so fast guys this dries down fast it's applying nice with the brush it's medium coverage easy to blend uh, the shade is a little bit darker than I would like it to be but let's try with a beauty blender not beauty blender but beauty sponge I got faster with the brush I have to say and they apply equally good but do you know what guys I really like the coverage it's buildable it is to blend it's lightweight I have a lot of foundation on my skin and I don't, don't feel like I do have a lot of foundation on my skin it's wrong shade we know that we know that but otherwise I think this looks nice let's try the concealer But I like this uh, concealer. It covered very nice. It's also feels more like medium coverage. And I do like it. It doesn't look heavy. It looks nice. Dry down very fast. I'm going to set everything with the powder. And this is in translucent. I think they also had one more shade. I'm not sure. But I always go for tra tra translucent. So you do get the puff. I'm going to use the puff that comes with this and oh, oh, oh it, it's so powdery. I'm going to set everything. When I look at myself in the mirror, I can't see anything. When I look at myself in the camera, I see white everywhere. So I wouldn't use the puff with this powder. Uh, I do like how every, this powder smoothed out everything and everything looks nice. But I can't get over it how dark this shade is on me. But it kind of matches everything down here. Am I that tan? Okay, we'll see how everything looks when we set. I actually want to finish the makeup look. So we go back to this palette and I'm going to use this shade, Pure. And bring it a little bit lower. Connect it together with a shade here. Okay, let's go in with this lighter shade here. Quick sand. And bring it more down here. With this eyebrow brush. And go in with... I want to go in with this shade. I do really want to go this this ruby red shade just to try more colors in this palette oh this is a beautiful shade oh, it's a nice shade so i'm going to go back with the brush that we used before down here and blend everything so we are going to contour right now this palette came broke the bronzy palette but we do have this contour palette contour palette and let's open this one so we do have two face powders this is porcelain and banana powder and we have two latte caramel and ginger down here I think I want to I'm scared I think this is going to be a mistake but let's go for it am I going to do that am I going to do that I think I'm going to do that 
I'm going to use this brush from my Huda Beauty and I'm going to go into this light shade here and oh this is it looks like it has some shimmer in it a little bit the banana though they have like satin finish and uh, I'm scared of using that sometimes because of my pores but this doesn't look bad not bad so I'm going to go in with uh, this shade here and try to contour with it they are not matte matte but they are not shimmery feels like they have some satin finish to them so let's take this shade a little bit It's blending nice do I want to make it a little bit more sharp so I'm going to go into the shade next to it it's a little bit warmer oh there you go it's blending nice so guys I disappeared for a second or two I had to put all of my um, filming on my on my computer because the camera card was full so I had to delete after I placed all of them on my computer, I had to delete it, now I'm back. Now I had, it's one o'clock, and I've been having this foundation for an hour right now, and I'm loving it more and more. I know the shade is very weird, but my face looks so smooth and nice and lightweight, I don't even feel like I have foundation on, and I think it looks like my skin. This looks like my skin. Now I know the shade is really, really, really wrong, but I'm li really living for this foundation right now. Yeah, this is broke palette. I tr tried to save these shades, couldn't, but I really want to try this bronzer, so I am going to do that now. Uh, I'm going to actually use for both of them, so I'm going to dip in this and this and go in with them. I'm sad that this palette broke, but they're going to send me a new one, so I'm glad for that. I love trying new bronzers and this bronzer palette looks so beautiful. I'm really loving these bronzers. They look so natural on my skin. Everything looks so smooth. It's blending beautifully. I'm surprised. Nape and Fab, I love your makeup. And I did contour my nose a little bit with that contour palette. So I like this. Uh, I'm scared, but I really want to try the shimmery one. I'm going to try just lightly because they look so flat and not so shimmery. In this one, this is called Champagne Shimmer. Oh, this is so broke. So shimmery. And just go around on my bronzer. Oh, I think this looks nice. It really blended so beautifully over the matte bronzers. So it's time for the blush. It's time for the blush. And I did got this blush, blusher palette, number one blushed. I think they have one that it's a little bit deeper, with deeper shades that will work on deeper skin tones. I think that is amazing. Okay, I'm going to use my blush brush and I think I'm going to go into this shade. They are not hard pigmented, but I love that. They are so easy to build up to the intense that you want on your blush. So you don't have to be scared to take too much on your brush at once and then try to blend everything and that doesn't always go on smoothly. And I'm into blushes right now, so I love my cheeks to be blushy. And this... <laughs> Makeup is so good. I'm going to end with this palette. And this is highlighter palette. And I'm so excited for this palette. Uh, probably use some of these. Let me swatch. Ooh, they are a little bit. Uh, oh my god. I don't know if you can see that. They're so beautiful. Let me swatch the other three shades. 
I think they are going to be a little bit too deep for my skin, but maybe I can mix them. Oh, oh, I'm loving these. They are so beautiful. I think I'm going to go in with this shade here, but I also want to mix it with this one. So maybe I'll do that. So I'm going to go in with this shade and this shade. Oh, that is beautiful. Can you see how nice that looks? Oh, I love the highlighter palette. Ooh, that is good. Highlighter palette. And uh, let's take some, the lightest shade that we have in this palette. And they do have a highlighter palette for deeper skin tones also. But this one is cute. We have mascara. And they have only one mascara and it's called mascara. And I saw a couple of videos with people using this mascara and it looks so beautiful. I hope it's going to look that too on my face. And I hope it's not going to transfer under my low lash line and I don't want to look like a raccoon after a couple of hours. So I have hope height for this one. So far I'm happy with everything that I got. My face looks like my skin. <laughs> That's it. Sound fridge, but everything looks good. It's separating my eyelashes beautifully. So this is one coat of the mascara and I actually remind and I actually like how it separated my my eyelashes, but I do need to use it to maybe put one or two coats more. But I forgot actually to try eyeliners. How could I forget that? So we have eye pencil and I have in different shades and I have eyeliner in different shades. And I know I ordered more of the eyeliners and eye pencils, but the, I received these. I have eye pencils in nude and white, and I have eyeliner in black and uh, brown. Let's use black. And I think I ordered an eye pencil in brown too, so I can use it in my waterline, but let's try with the black eyeliner. And I'm going, not going to do a wing because I suck at doing wings. I need to work on that. So eyeliner has this kind of tip. Ooh, it's, oh my God, this is intense. So let's try it. This eyeliner is very easy to use. I do have a lot of skin, so when I go over it, does skip a little bit but it's not at all hard to go in again over that oh no oh no i destroyed my eye look so it's not a perfect eyeliner but uh, because i can't do it i can't see when i close my eyes but i did destroy a little bit of my makeup look because i have a dot on in the middle or in the center of my eye right now so i'm going to try to cover that It is what it is, but I'm happy with how this look. Let's swatch this brown eyeliner and see how that one is look, looking. It's dark brown. It's look, it looks nice. And it's not matte, so if you don't like, it's not shimmer either. It's more like satin eyeliner, but it looks, I expected a little bit lighter, but I'm glad it did. It's not light. Let's watch our eye pencil. So let's try eye pencil in my waterline and hope it won't smudge. So I have white and nude, I think it's called. So I want to use the nude, but I want to swatch the white one. Oh, it's creamy and it's nude. And we have white. Oh, sharper, there is a sharper on the end. Wow, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Actually, I didn't expect that. So, and the white is white. Not as white as I maybe thought it would be, but it's not bad. So let's try the nude one in the waterline and hope that it will stay. Because 
because it's creamy formula, you do need to warm it up before you on your hand before you go in on the lower lash line. And it feels like it's going to stay there. And I kind of like this eyeliner. It's not matte, but it looks like it's no, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, so let's go in with the mascara again. Oh my god, I'm all over the place in this video. So this is the second coat of this. I kind of really like how this mascara looks right now. So let's, I hope that it will stay like that. So the last thing we have, it's lip liner and the lipstick. And then guys, we are done with, I uh, can't remove, I can't remove the eye pencil and eyeliners. That's a good sign. So I'm going to open all of the, all of the lipsticks. These are matte liquid lipsticks. So this is pink lemonade, I like that one. Then we have this one, this is biscuit. Let's see, biscuit. That one is so cute for the fall, I love that. And let's see the next one, we have cinnamon. And it's like nude shade, they were kind of, hmm. It looks like this one, but it's more, this one is more pink undertone. But it looks lighter in the packaging. Then we have Cool Nude. This one looks a little bit gray. Hmm? Not bad, I like that. That looks cute. And the last shade that I have here, it's Candy. Candy. Oh, this one is also cute. So uh, this is all of the lips, quid lipsticks that I have. And I have, and I did receive three different lip pens. I did order more, but I'm getting them soon. They will come to me soon. This is in shade crayon, no? caramel. And what I like about these is that they have sharper on the other edge. And I have a couple of, uh, couple of lip pens that I never use because I lose sharpers and I do buy a new one and they just disappear. So I never know where they are. So I really like this. I hope they will work nice. And this is in shade, like I said, 03 Caramel. Let's swatch it in here. Oh, this one is nice nude. This one is cute, more brown nude. So then we have number one, cake. Oh, I like this one. This will go on, go good with all of the nude lipsticks. Lighter. And the last shade I have here is called Apple Pie. I love that name because I love Apple Pie. Oh, I like that one too. Apple Pie, I like that one too. So I think I'm going to go in with uh, caramel and I think I want to use this shade here and that was cool nude. So I'm going in with caramel lip liquid, caramel lip liner. Oh, it's so smooth. They are creamy but not too creamy. I love this shade. I don't know if you can see it, but this is perfect nude. I love it. Okay, let's go in with this one and hope that it won't be too light. No, let's take one more over it. Let's go with one deeper shade. Let's go in with the cinnamon like this one is a little bit too pale maybe it will go nice over in the center of another lip lipstick but this one is too pale let's see this cinnamon now this one is better they look so dark when you swatch them but on the lips they turn out to be a little bit different so the applicator is a typical applicator but it's a little bit ho harder than on other lip Lip lipsticks like the Jeffree Stars. The applicator on Jeffree Stars are a little bit softer, but I'm not mad. It went on very easy. 
they are not so sticky. Let's see how it's going to look when it dries down. So we have a last thing and that's setting spray. So they had two different, I think. One is for luminous and one is matte. And of course, guess which one I went with? Matte. I know this looks so matte right now. My face looks matte, but I don't like me looking shiny and greasy. So I always pick matte setting sprays. So, okay, so this is the packaging. It's plastic and I love how it looks. Let's see the mist. Ooh, nice. Let's try it. So everything looks good. I love how my makeup looks. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better. So right now it's almost two o'clock and I had this foundation for around two hours now while I was playing with makeup, while I was playing with my camera that turned off a couple of times and while I was opening all of these packages I did remove half of my nail half of my nail polish so I do have a little bit of an mascara down here but I don't know if it's because I use setting spray I always put my mascara last everything looks nice I love how this foundation feels so light the whole makeup my face makeup feels so light lightweight it feels like I don't wear any makeup I love it now the lipstick it's just a little bit tacky but maybe it needs more time to dry and um, it's matte it doesn't transfer that much it looks dry but we'll see how it's going to stay on the whole day so guys this is the final look and my hair is a mess I washed it yesterday and so frizzy my hair is always frizzy I don't know what to do with it but I think this makeup look turned beautiful I love this foundation I love foundation it feels so light and I hope it will stay like this forever this is so good I'm going to eat something I'm going to take my glasses on because I'm going to wear them all day and See you soon. So guys, I'm back. It's now almost 9.30 and I've been having this foundation for I think eight hours. I'm not really sure. I forgot what time it was when I applied it. And let's see, I look shiny, but that's usual. Let me see just how the foundation looks. Let's start with the foundation. I love it. It's lightweight. I forgot that I had foundation on. I'm very surprised. Lately I've been liking the foundation that I'm trying out. Uh, this one is so good. It didn't settle into my fine lines. It didn't fade anywhere. It didn't fade on the nose, under the nose. It didn't gather down here. The concealer looks very good. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look heavy under the eyes. The foundation, I could probably make it a little bit lighter because I feel like it's kind of oxidized. It got a little bit darker during the day. My eyebrows are perfect. Eyeshadow, look. It's still look good. I'm so surprised. Everything, everything looks nice. Eyeliner looks nice. The lipstick, it faded away. It is dry formula, but it doesn't dry out my lips. I feel like it's kind of wear off very nice. It wasn't fading away badly. It was fading away very nice. So there is just a little bit of the lipstick left. But I really, really like the lipstick. Uh, I, I think it's good. I love Nip Fab. I think this is an amazing brand. I really, I really am happy that I found out about this brand and bought this product. My eyeliner is there. My eye pencil is still there. That one, no, it didn't fade. It looked good. Let me zoom in. Or maybe I'll take off the oil a little bit, like you always do. So 
so there is the foundation so now I can see that it's a spot here without foundation and just a little bit here but otherwise everything looks really good highlight is there, contour is there, bronze is there, blush is there I love it So I can't wait for the other eyeshadow palette to arrive. So let me say, this one I love. I love all the palettes. I love the bronzer palette. I love the blush palette. I love the highlighter palette, contour palette. The primer looks good. I kind of minimize my pores a little bit. That's pretty good. I love the foundation. Everything, everything is very good. Though I'm kind of scared of using this again, I'll definitely try it. I forgot to take picture. But right now I love everything, so I give a thumbs up. I'm interested in trying their skincare. I haven't tried anything from uh, Nip and Fab before, and I've seen on uh, Instagram that they have some amazing skincare. So I really, really want to check that out. And yeah, guys, if you haven't tried anything from Nip Fab, please do that. Please let me know down below if you're interested to see something more and if you're interested to see more makeup looks with this palette i'm happy to do that thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video bye